Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest for the afternoon, Mr. Amr Abdul Rahman, the journalist. Mr. Amr, it's a very good afternoon to you, sir. Same to you. I'm even more delighted. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Thank Amr, you. for your time. And let me start by asking you about the latest developments uh, we are seeing in the Gaza Strip. Over 50 Palestinians were killed and dozens others wounded uh, as a result of the Israeli occupation bombardment of the east of Deir al-Balah, central Gaza Strip, and east of Khan Yunus. And still, we are seeing uh, reports of injuries and more attacks uh, in the area. How do you see this recent development in light of the current ceasefire talks that are underway? I believe that we have a status quo situation uh, regarding the uh, the Zionist aggression against the Arabs in the occupied lands in in Gaza Strip, uh, as we have uh, witnessed uh, full support by the U.S. and the Western powers to the Zionist aggression against the Arabs. As we also see that uh, the middling role of Egypt and uh, partners like Qatar uh, didn't reach a, uh, a resolution mm. uh, throughout uh, the negotiations that went on for the, the past uh, month. Uh, today, we are witnessing a, a visit paid by uh, some uh, leaders of uh, the resistance to Cairo. And they will, uh, they will uh, meet uh, uh, responsibles uh, on a high level today, as we have witnessed uh, statements uh, given by the, the, the resistance in Gaza Strip that we have declared uh, agreeing uh, uh, upon the, 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 the American initiative that was uh, declared uh, last May, uh, last June, and of course we are uh, witnessing the same situation, which is uh, uh, uh regarding the the uh, the, uh, the Egyptian uh, Israeli situation uh, concerning the uh, the corridors whether uh, in Rafah, Palestinian Rafah, or uh, in it, in Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, together, uh, I believe that uh, Egypt and the resistance, the Palestinian resistance, are taking the same stand, the same situation, uh, toward that file especially. Uh, we refuse, we both refuse any uh, Zionist existence through uh, the the the, uh, the Nitzrayim, uh, corridor or the Salah uh, corridor, which is called Philadelphia corridor, the, the both uh, corridors are just uh, a red line to our Egyptian uh, uh, national security. And of course, we have uh, important reports and statements given by the the. Uh, the Egyptian officials concerning the aggression, the Israeli ag aggression against uh, our own national security in this file. And we are taking the, the most firm stand to end this crisis as uh, for the best, the very best for our own uh, national security uh, red lines, as well as the Palestinian rights in their own land, in, uh, whether in Gaza. Uh, or whole of Palestine, uh, but uh, we uh, we should agree together, wh whether in Egypt or uh, in Palestine, mm -hmm. that the Palestinian uh, resistance organization uh, should be the leader of the Palestinian struggle and the Palestinian resistance against. Uh, the Zionist aggression against the whole of Palestine, not just in Gaza Strip, uniting the, the, resistance, uh, the resistance powers and agreeing that only by resistance uh, force we can liberate the, the land, then we can talk about maybe a truce for, for the moment, for the, for, the, for the time being, to end the catastrophe that the Palestinians and the Arabs are going through right now for 10, 10 months right now uh, after the, the, uh, the Hamas attack 
that uh, is considered in Tel Aviv a true deceit to, uh, to, that, to Tel Aviv, that we have witnessed uh, uh, the, the resignation of the, the, the chief of the um, military uh, intelligence uh, in, uh, in Israel, uh, according to, it, to this defeat, uh, again, it's the, uh, the, uh, the, resist, the resistance power, that gives us uh, how there is a, a, a light in the end of, the, of this dark tunnel mm -hmm. that only liberating this land can only uh, uh, accomplish through our resistance, but united resistance. Yes. All of Palestinians should be uh, <clears throat> united on one force, one authority. Together, they can liberate the, uh, their, uh, their land, and all of the Arab and the Muslim world is just behind their, their, that uh, target. Absolutely, Mr. Amr. And, um, you know, I want to go back to the situation on the ground uh, in the Gaza Strip with regards to the latest reports that we received by the World Health Organization uh, that are speaking about an outbreak of a possible, uh, you know, polio uh, where a child was, a baby, was diagnosed with polio type 2 and has actually succumbed to paralysis as a result of this virus. And uh, the World Health Organization are now calling for a 10-day break or pause in uh, the aggression and the attacks in order to start vaccination drives uh, by the end of the month as well as next month in order to save, you know, uh, children uh, from further uh, diseases, especially now with the destruction in uh, Gaza. We are seeing uh, the population in Gaza more vulnerable to the outbreak of diseases as a result of uh, you know, the, the, the war as well as the, uh, for example, destruction of sanitation infrastructure, uh, sewage infrastructure, uh, etc. How do you see this latest development? And the, uh, do you see that th there could be a possibility of launching a successful uh, vaccination drive uh, in light of the current circumstances on the ground? Uh, I'm sure that uh, all of the Palestinians now uh, in Gaza Strip and other places in uh, Palestine are denied their, uh, their right mm. to, to be treated from diseases. That's why we can uh, expect uh, escalations on the, the most dramatic way we, ha we, should, we, we could uh, witness. I believe that uh, there is a Zionist, international Zionist aggression against the Arabs in, in Palestine. I believe this is a, a small world war against the Arabs in this spot of, uh, of land. The, 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 the Zionist army, supported by the Western powers, uh, are committing a war crime against uh, the Arabs in the same way that Nazis committed their crimes against uh, innocent nations. We have, witnessing, uh, we have witnessed this for the, the, the past 10 months, and uh, we, we need to, to remind the whole world that those crimes didn't start uh, after uh, October 7. It's been continuing for a whole lot of century, for a whole lot of century that uh, the Arabs are being ex exterminated, mis dis displaced, killed, in and massacred, and denied their own rights, their simple rights of life and existence on the ground. Uh, this didn't start by, uh, by the, the operation uh, October 7th. It has been going on for a whole other century, more than 100 years since the Rothschilds has de declared the, 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 the state of uh, Israel on the Arabic land that is occupied right now. Mm -hmm. So we should, uh, we should expect more escalation with cold-blooded and dead conscience of the Western world and other parts of the world that is uh, manipulating the truth and trying to, to make it seem as if it's a, a negotiation between two sides at war. This is the right of any nation to fight for its own independence. If this war was going on in the, in the U.S., in any uh, of the, the previous uh, colonized, uh, colonized uh, lands, like we have witnessed in Egypt when we liberated our land 
from the British uh, uh, col uh, col col uh, colonization. Mm -hmm. We should resist, and they should resist. Uh, this, is, this is the right. You can never deny the right of a nation to liberate its land with force according to the international law. Mm -hmm. This is not a, uh, an invented rule. This, uh, this is according to inter the international law. Resistance is a right for any nation that is defending its own existence on this earth. And by only uh, uh, absorbing those, uh, this, this vision, we can uh, expect more, uh, more escalating in the dramatic scene in Gaza Strip and whole of Palestine. And maybe soon we will see even more uh, dramatic scenes in whole of Palestine unless the, the, the resistance power unites their efforts and unites their, their, their targets and forget the names, forget Hamas, forget Jihad, forget whatsoever. We should be united under the umbrella of the organization of the, 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 of the Palestine organization uh, for resistance. Yes, absolutely. On that note, I'll have to leave it there. Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our journalist and guest, thank you so much, sir, for your time and your insight on today's edition of Arab Affairs.